Hi everyone, thanks again for joining me. Uh, this next video clip is going to be how to change the foot on your sewing machine. I have never done this before. Uh, my mother assures me this is a piece of cake. <laughs> so we are going to see if I can adjust my accounting mind to become more of a mechanical mind and switch this out. I want to install my walking foot because that was one of my lessons learned was not using a walking foot in my fabric. Uh, pulled a bit so stay tuned and we will see how this goes thanks okay so as you can see this is the foot we want to change out you need a handy dandy little screwdriver that came with your machine um, and so first I need to re remove this one with my nails <laughs> it gets to be interesting but here goes nothing. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty, right? one I'm putting on is my walking foot. So according to my handy dandy instruction, I'm just going to align it and this will be easy peasy. Do you believe me? If it really is this easy, it's no wonder my mother laughed at me when I told her. I think we're in business. So I thought let's go ahead and give this a shot and uh, see if I can tell a difference in this at all. Didn't like me. I'm gonna try this again. I missed a step. So, I'm so not good at reading instructions, but I, what I missed was um, connecting the fork of the walking foot, this cute little guy, to the needle clamp screw, which is on this side. Let's try this again. So I thought I would go ahead and give this a try real quick. To see how it does compared to what I was trying to do before. Let's see how it holds. Oh, I understand now why my mother said put on my walking foot. That's much better. Um, it's, it holds the fabric much better, uh, so my pieces will stay in place and be aligned uh, when I restart this uh, jelly roll quilt. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. 